Well, hi everyone, and welcome to episode 159 of Saranova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Saranova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Saranova Crafts, Saranova Crafts on Instagram. Hopefully there's show notes. I have no idea if I'll actually get around to writing them, considering it's been two months since I last recorded an episode. Um, considering my last episode was on Valentine's Day, and it is April uh, 18th today. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, right? Um, I did create a new email, um, so my credits, my end credits, if I can remember how to change them, will be changing. If not, I won't include them. Um, it's just saranovacrafts at gmail.com, um, because I was using two different names online, and I decided, at least crafting-wise, and I decided to just all use one, so if you ever want to email me, feel free, saranovacrafts at gmail.com. If you're friends with me, you have a different email address, that's fine, that's my personal, but this is my, like, public crafting one, so that's why I'm giving that one out on the internet. To, like, the public on YouTube. Um, but if you know me personally and you have a different email address, that one's still valid. Um, that's my personal, like, my private personal. Because <laughs> I give that to friends. Um, but a lot has happened in the last two months. Like, seriously, like, a lot. Um, I went to spa in February in Maine. Had a great time. Um, we stayed at a different, my mom and I stayed at a different hotel than normal. Um, but it was still really good. We had a good time. No issues, you know. Um, I've started a bunch of projects. I frogged some projects. Um, if you guys know what's been happening with the 100 Ravens, there, there was that whole hullabaloo when they went to, to DFW down in Texas, like a week and a half ago. Um, go show them some love they needed. <laughs> Advertising. They're not paying me. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just friends with them, and I like their yarn. Go, go give them some love. Um, hi, Nibbler. You sniffing all the stuff? Yeah, I got confetti behind me here. See? There's confetti. And Nibbler's on the floor right here. I was going to sit on the couch, and then I realized I couldn't, like, prop my camera up at the right height to get, like, a good headshot. So, I'm sitting on a little sack. Um, went to spa. Uh, not too much happened in March, other than I was just really busy. Oh, Purim happened. Purim's always fun. Um, we had a ball at the synagogue. Uh, that was good. Um, it was, like, an adult-only thing, so, like, no kids. Um, it was really a 21-plus event, because they had a bar. Um, but it was just really fun, though slightly awkward, because I've been a member of this congregation for so many years. I've grown up there. My parents joined the congregation in 89, when... The fam when we as a family moved to Nashua. And so it's been, thir I've been a member of this congregation for 30 years and I am 31 years old. So I grew up in this congregation, right? And I know these people and it was a slight cognitive dissonance because I'm suddenly socializing with people who have always been the adults, right? Even though I'm 31, right? I'm an adult. I've been an adult for a while now, right? I should be used to adulting. But these people have, I've known, like, literally almost my whole life. Like, effectively my whole life. And now I'm socializing with them. At a party. With a bar. With alcohol in my hand. And I work for some of these people because the rabbi was there and he's my boss. But this is a social event. It was, it was this weird cognitive dissonance going on. <laughs> um, and then... This month in April, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter... Um, I got engaged. Kevin and I finally made it official. I have a ring. There you go. I'll hold it up nice and close and see if I can't get the camera to focus on it. There we go. Can I get, can you focus? Camera focus, focus, focus. No, it's not going to focus. There it is. Okay. So, um, antique ring between 120, 130 years old. Um, originally we weren't going to get an antique ring, but I fell in love with this one when we saw it on consignment at a shop. And so that's the ring I ended up with. Um, it's not that sudden for us. People, people are like, oh, this is quick. It's like, no, we've been together seven and a half years. This is not quick for us. We've been talking about this for a while. Basically, we've been talking about it since we bought the house, which was 2017. So, <laughs> so to us, this wasn't fast, like, at all. Um, fast to everyone else, because we don't really talk publicly about our relationship. But, um, yeah, we made it official. I have a ring. We've set a date. Um, it's happening. <laughs> Which is pretty much what everyone assumed would eventually happen, you know. Um, they were just surprised that we made it, that we decided that 2019 was going to be the year. 
So anyways, um, I have projects, some of which I left over on the couch because I was setting up over there, so I'm not going to bother. Um, and then some I have here. I have the yarn I got at Spa. Um, and I'm just going to talk about what's going on knitting-wise, and then I think that'll be it. Because the one faux I have, I currently do not have in my possession. Because I finished my, um, my Spitfire which is a two-color brioche scarf thingy mabobber, right? And, um, and I promptly handed it over to 100 Ravens to use as a boo sample until I finished knitting the, um, oh, that's where that sweater went. There's a sweater in this bag. Um, until they finished, um, until they... No, excuse me. I cannot talk this morning until I finished a new sample of the same pattern for them because they wanted one in a specific color scheme, which is not what I knit for myself. But I told them you can use mine as a boo sample until I finish yours. So that's what I'm working on. I realized I can't talk right now. I found a sweater on this bag. I completely got distracted. By the way, I found this bag at Spa. It was on the free table. It's got like all these sweet pockets and zippers and it's got, um, it actually came with a divider on the inside, so you can, like, quarter the, the inside of the bag, right? You can, you know, split it up into quarters, because the bag's circular. Um, and, uh, yeah, and it came, and there was this inside. It's like a, a straight needle case. And so, yeah, it's actually a decent-sized bag, too. It's got a shoulder strap, or you can use it as, like, a, a handle. Um, and it has, on the top, it's got big holes that so you could, like, put a ball of yarn through, right? So, like, that's what I don't like about bags that have just the tiny little grommets is that once you've put the project in the bag, you can't take the project out of the bag again. But this bag, and please excuse me, it's absolutely covered in cat hair because it was sitting on the floor and somebody slept on it. Um, but on this bag, look, I can get my whole hand in here, which means you can pull a ball of yarn through the hole and change projects. It's like, I'm like, why isn't this like standard on all the stuff? Because I'm like, I never buy bags or get bags or whatever that have just a tiny little grommets because I'm like, I'm never, ever going to use them. Because I switch stuff around, I move stuff from bag to bag, I... Ugh. I would never use it. So, when I was at Spa, I got, um, got five skeins of yarn. So the first thing I got was, and I've because I've made this a thing at Spa, that I do this. I get Spunky Eclectics color every year. And this year I got it on her skinny sock, which is, um, Merino... I think it's merino nylon. It's her skinny sock, so it's... I think it's merino nylon, or is it just merino? I don't remember. My phone's on the couch. I'm not going to look at it. But it's Spunky Eclectic. Her skinny sock base. This will focus. Come on. There we go. And um, it's Bow Street Sunset is this year's colorway. It's 2019 spot colorway. So, made it a thing to get Spunky Eclectic every year. Um, and then we went to, um, um, what is it? I am blanking on the name of that shop in Freeport. The, they have a mermaid for their logo. Why am I blanking on this shop name? I'm blanking on the shop name. I'm sorry. It's, I was not really prepared for this. Just freely admitting, not prepared for this. I sat down this morning and I'm like, hey, I have to leave in now looking at the time half an hour because I'm starting a yarn group at the synagogue, and it's going to start at 9 a.m. today, and I have to drive from Gosstown to Nashville, which is about a half hour. And, um, and I'm like, I should do a recording this morning. No preparation, no nothing. I've been, honestly, I've been meaning to record since the week after spa. Um, you know, because, but I've been having issues with my ADD medication, which I think, which I know, I don't think. I know it hasn't been working as well as it should which means that my ability to concentrate and focus and actually do things is a little not great. Um, I mean, I'm not great without medication. With medication, I'm better. But, like, I'm kind of in this weird middle ground where I'm not as good as I used to be with medication, but it's not as bad as without medication. I actually have an appointment on April 30th to talk to a... Um, my doctor, my PCP, um, referred me over to someone um, because... Um, she's not qualified to do that kind of medication. Um, 
So we'll see, I might be changing meds, but like I've been meaning to sit down and record literally since February. And it's April 18th. Yeah. Welcome to my brain. Uh, <laughs> Nibbler, leave Zoe alone. They started chasing her again for some reason. It's like, come on, you guys. Like, and Nibble is usually the good one. Zoe, down, off the counter. Zoe, down. <sighs> Cats, right? Three of them. Love them dearly, but they're a pain in the ass. So, um, oh yeah, and I got um, yarn fairied at Spa, and I got these stitch markers. That's always cool. I also got a slew of, like, books and magazines off the free table. Um, but those are somewhere else I can't reach. But anyways, the, um, 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 I was trying to remember what yarn store it is in Freeport, Maine, but I can't remember. We went there because I was looking for a specific needle, which unfortunately they sold out of, probably because, you know, people were using it to, to, you know, people were buying a lot of needles. Um, and nobody had it in the marketplace either. It's okay. I went and got it somewhere else after. Um, I just needed a new sock needle because my favorite sock needle broke. And I like a specific brand. I like Chow Goo's. Um, but nobody had a 40-inch US-1 Chow Goo. Nibbler! Why? Unfortunately, Nibbler is big enough. Sidetrack again, sorry. Unfortunately, Nibbler is big enough that when he's on the top of the cat tower, he can reach the ceiling. We have a beam up there. Because when they opened up the house, they had to keep the beam, right? So there's a beam coming down from the ceiling that's helping to support the upper story. Because this house was not designed to be open concept. And uh, he can reach the beam. So, you know. But anyways, I got this yarn there. This is um, KFI Luxury Collection. It's their Indulgence Hand Painted. Um, the yarn is it's 100% superwash wool, but it feels soft. It's probably not merino, but it's pretty soft. And this is the colorway Not de Gala. N-O-T-T-E space D-I space G-A-L-A. -A. However, however you say that. Um, and they were having a sale on it, so I got it at slightly cheaper than... Um, I got it at 20% off, so I got two because it's a DK weight. So I'm thinking like a hat and some mitts or maybe a small shawlette or something, but I have... Um, how many yards is this game? I have about 480 yards here, so I'm going to do something pretty fun with 480 yards of DK. But I really like the color. It's a little out of my comfort zone. It's not really like there's the oranges and the purples and stuff. It's not, um, it's a little out of my comfort zone in terms of like what I normally get for color, but I liked it. And then I got Into the World. Into the World. Because they were there. It was always nice. So I got two different colors. No, I didn't. I got one color of Into the World because I put another skein of yarn in the bag because I wasn't paying attention. This is their um, Pakoku Sock, which is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon, and it is in the colorway of Godric's Hollow. So it's like this greenish yellow. Um, I got it partially for the name and partially because I actually do like green and I do like yellow, so I figured why not. Um... But there's their label. Into the world. Godrex Hollow. And here it is. And then the other yarn that was in the bag that I totally forgot was that um, 100 Ravens was at Spa. And um, they had their show colorway. And I wanted it, so I bought it from them. Because, well, I was going to buy it from them. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, but it is I Have Loved the Stars Too Fondly. It's this gorgeous, like, steely blue-gray. Then it's got this shot of a lighter yellow in it. It's, um, it's really hard. The color's not showing up properly on the camera. It really isn't. But there's, like, two shades of blue in here because you have this, like, more uh, bluer blue. Then you have this, like, steely blue. And you have that yellow in there. I don't know. I just really, I really liked it. I really liked it. So those were the five skeins of yarn I got at Spa. Um, let's see. And then, what else, what else, what else, what else? 
I started a sock because I needed something totally just basic and mindless to work on. Um, and it's, um, it's, uh, Night Owl Fibers. Here it is. I started the sock. What is the colorway name? What is the colorway name? What is the colorway name? I think this is my favorite things. I lost the tag for it. It's in my Ravelry. If I do show notes, I'll tag it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rachel. I forgot what color this was. Rachel's the dyer. Um, she used to wind all of her self-striping balls like this but I think now that she her business has grown a little bit she stopped because it's a lot of work and it's just easier to just hang up to skein up a skein instead of to hand wind it all but um this was back when she was oh god this I've had this skein for three four years finally decided to make something with it I was debating whether to do like a Hermione's every day but then I'm like no it's just a gorgeous self-striping sock I'm just gonna knit vanilla socks so that's what I'm doing knitting vanilla socks in the bag I got last year at the Toronto Knitters Festival gig. What is what is it actually called? Toronto Fiber Fest? I don't know. The, the thing the Toronto Knitters Guild put on every year. Which I am going to again this year. So a week from tomorrow, I am driving to Canada. And like I had to pull out my passport because when I got home from Israel, I put my passport away because, you know, misplacing that is bad. And I pulled it out last night because I wanted to remember to pull it out, and I was thinking about it, and, uh, Kevin got home, he's like, why do you have your passport out, and I'm like, I'm going to Canada next week, he's like, oh yeah, I'm like, yeah, kind of need that to go to Canada, it's not like going to Mass, <laughs> I need a passport, that would suck, if you needed a passport to go between states in the U.S., like, oh my god, like, if we'd split off into, like, a bajillion different countries, that would suck, now I know why the EU happened, because, like, that's horrible. Like, oh my god, because Europe's so small. <laughs> um, so this, this bag, which I've had for ages and ages and ages now, um, is holding the new Spitfire for 100 Ravens in the colorway they chose. So they chose these two colors, because it's a two-color brioche. You have one light side, one dark side. So the dark side is jet, which, yep, it's a black. But they really have, it's a good black. Like, they, they really experimented with their blacks, and they came up with a really good black. And the other one is Someone in the Crowd. It's blues with a little bit of green and yellow in it. It's predominantly blue, but there's just enough, like, green and yellow in it to, um, to give it some variation. It doesn't stripe or anything. It, it pools a little bit. But since I'm doing brioche, it's very odd. <laughs> but it's a, I like it. It's a good colorway combo. So... Here it is. Look at that. It's pretty graphic. I mean, in graphic in terms of, like, the black gives it an outline, which makes it look like it's, you know. So here it is. Right? And then there's the back side. Actually, it looks pretty good on camera. There it is, Spitfire. So it's going to end up about this wide. So it's going to taper up, go straight, and then taper down. Um, patterns available on Ravelry, so you can look it up. Um, it's in my projects because I finished mine. Mine was in um, the colorway of Apollo, which is a bright, sunshiny yellow, and then um, and then Fairy Dragon, which is like a muted pastel-y rainbow, and it was it's part of their dragon collection. Like they did Night Fury and and um, Shanti, and um, they had a whole bunch of like dragony colorways. I, really, I have a, I knit a hat out of Night Fury. I really like it. I really like Night Fury. And actually, I don't like Night Fury just because of the name. Because I do, because, like, oh my god, I want to hug Toothless. But it's this gorgeous, like, blue and purple combo, and it's really pretty. Um, and then I also started, because I have this one in reach. Oh, this is a bag I got in Israel. This is Jerusalem. Bright big gold letters on it. And um, I bought a kit to do, what's in here? What is in here, what is in here, what is in here? Oh, that, okay, yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna show you that. I haven't touched that, which I really should. Um, so I bought a kit ages ago from, from, who's he, what's it? Artfill. Um, Artfill, they are a Canadian dyer um, from, I don't know where they're from. I think they're from Ontario province. I don't remember. But anyways, um, I bought a kit from them to do a find your fade, 
But then I knit a Find Your Fade out of, I pulled from Stash, and I decided that um, I didn't want to uh, use the kit for a Find Your Fade. So instead, I'm doing a What the Fade, which is the one with the brioche, and it's a true triangle, because I realized I didn't like the shape of the What the Fade. Um, I mean, I knit mine, I like it, I wear it, I use it, but um, I didn't like, I don't, I'm, I mean, I'll wear it, obviously, but it's not my first choice for shape, and the what the fade is a triangle. Now, I've barely started this, like, barely started this. I cast this on, and then I haven't touched it in, like, you know, a month, um, but it starts with two-color brioche, it's got an I-cord border, and um, here you go. So, starting it here. As you can see, this is one side, this is the, this is the other side, because it's two-color brioche. So, um, so yeah, that's everything, um, all the big things. Went to spa, got engaged, going to Canada next weekend. Happy Easter, Passover starts tomorrow. I was baking cookies last night for Easter, even though I can't eat them on Easter because Passover, but... You know, it is what it is. Um, and, uh, yeah. I think that's everything. <laughs> I probably missed, like, eight bajillion things. Because, like, I was trying to make a mental list and then I completely, like, forgot what my mental list was going to be. But I've succeeded to ramble on for over 20 minutes, which is actually qu quite long. I've been having some fairly short episodes. There's no way I'm going to go back to weekly because I cannot guarantee I'm going to record next week. Um, especially because of the school vacation week and I'm going to be traveling. But I'm going to try to not wait two months between episodes again. So, this is it. I'm going to say goodbye. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. Um, and there goes my alarm for 8 o'clock. So, good job. And my phone's all the way over there, so I can't turn it off. So, you're just going to have to deal with beeping for a moment. Like, subscribe, comments are always appreciated. Um, feel free to email me at that new email address or just reach out if you want to chat or have any questions. So, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye!